Hello and welcome to the Bigger, Faster, Stronger Set Rep Log Online tutorial for administrators. Very glad to be able to be here with you today and to show you what you can do as an administrator, uh, as well as how the accounts are linked, how to get it all set up and get you going. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at 1-800-628-9737 or you can email us at info at bfssetreplog.com. When you sign up and purchase the product, the first thing that you're going to get from us is an email, uh, assuming that you put your email there as the main contact, uh, as the administrator. You'll get an email that looks exactly like this from info at BFS Set Rep Log, stating that you're invited to activate your account at the BFS Set Rep Log .com, and you follow the link to accept the invitation, and it will take you to a page that will allow you to select your own password and to log in directly to the dashboard. From that point, when you go to log in, you'll hit log in in the top right corner and enter, I'm sure you're familiar with this, enter in your email, password, and sign in directly and that will take you to the home page. The first thing that we're going to do is go to the dashboard, click here, and as you can see I am on uh, this account both as an administrator and as a coach. So if you're a coach of a team as well as an administrator of your software account, you can do both. If you are on as an athlete or if you have the single user package, you can also be uh, all three, an administrator, a coach, and an athlete. Uh, and I'll show you how to set that up here as we go forward. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do uh, is to go to your personal profile and go through here uh, your first name, last name. Now obviously this is geared towards the athletes, but any information you'd like to collect uh, you're able to. You can enter in a, a picture if you would like to and then simply hit update. Once you get your information updated, and I got that that warning simply because I didn't change anything uh, so I don't want you to worry about that uh, but as you go to the dashboard clicking for the administrator here we are we haven't created any teams and we have no recent messages I'll show you what that's about here in just a moment um, so what we want to do when we add a team for the very first time we just simply click here and add a new team we'll go ahead and do a football offseason program now, I, I will say that each of these uh, sports is calibrated with core lifts and auxiliary lifts that are specifically designated by Bigger, Faster, Stronger as to be tailored to that sport uh, through the Bigger, Faster, Stronger total program. Uh, so go ahead and take advantage of that if you'd like to look through and see what uh, auxiliary lifts are, are related to each of the sports. I'll show you how to do that in the uh, coaches phase of, of this tutorial. But we'll go ahead and select football offseason. Uh, it is a male sport. Now I've already created an account. I am an administrator, but I've also got myself here as a coach. I have set up a separate account uh, personally uh, so that I can show you as, a, as an athlete, as a separate athlete, what we would see there. We'll do that in a later tutorial. But I'll go ahead and select myself here, Coach Hendrickson. Now, if I'm not in here, what I'll do is I'll just go back up to the top here. I'll click in John Smith, and I'll go ahead and enter in an email as is necessary. But I have already entered myself in. If you've already created yourself as the administrator, which we have, uh, then that should be there. You can select yourself down here as a coach and add yourself on. Since I'm setting myself as a coach of the football offseason team, I'll go ahead and hit the send button. And there I am. Uh, as the administrator and also as the coach, I've got this set here. This here is the administrative dashboard. So what it's saying is the teams in my account that I have so far is football offseason. Now, I may not want to have football offseason specifically there, so I want to go in 
and I can go into settings and edit the name of this. So if I want to say Skyline High School Varsity Football, I can do that there. Uh, sport is correct. It is a male sport, so we'll set that there. And now here we have the the name that I specified, and you can name it anything you want. Configure it to be Skyland High School Varsity, JV, uh, Freshman uh, Football. If it's a PE class, you can say weight, weight Training Period 1. However you want to configure that. Also, the person that you set as the coach for that, they can also personalize that as they see fit. So we'll go back to the administrative dashboard here, and we are going to look on and we want to add our first athlete. So here in the settings we'll talk about goals and lifts as, as a coach, uh, so more on that in a moment. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click add an athlete and it's the same thing as adding a coach. If they're already in the system, which here I am, I did that before the, the tutorial here today, I can go ahead and click myself. I don't have to enter in anything else here. I hit send and there I am. Showed up here. I can also go in here and click uh, switch to readiness. Uh, the default is going to be readiness. However, if, uh, if you want to have them be in total program all from the start, but you want to take them back to readiness after you get going, uh, recognizing that perhaps uh, Marshall here isn't ready for the total, you can switch it back or you can put it to the total program. It will switch automatically there. Now as I go through, I can also select uh, what primary team. I've entered in some other teams previously uh, that I've since deleted. We'll show you how to do that here. Um, but you can also move them from one team to the next. So we do want to make sure that it says here Skyline High School Varsity Football is the primary team. This is that email that's set up here. We just would click update. And we're good to go. Now, uh, back to the administrator here. I've set up everything. I've set up my first team. And I realize that uh, that's not something that I necessarily want to have just yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And I can do that. Now, uh, important point here, if you delete the team, it will not delete the member athletes. So my name, Marshall Hendrickson, that will stay up in the account, which you can then pull from. When you go back to add this, you don't have to go back and add each uh, athlete or coach all over again. You can simply add the team and then go through the drop-down menu as we described. But there we go, we've cleared out the team. Now, the message feature. This is a feature that's currently still under development, but I can select an athlete or a coach, and I can send a message like, hey coach, great job in today's workout. Make sure your athletes remember the main thing is to be breaking records every day. Great work. And you hit send. Now if I uh, switch over as a coach, here is the message. For me personally, I don't have any teams yet because we just deleted it. Uh, but I guess I, I ran a workout today and the administrator uh, was really impressed, really liked it. That's from Coach Hendrickson to Coach Hendrickson. Uh, and hey coach, great job in today's workout. Make sure your athletes remember the main thing is to be breaking records every day. Great work. Uh, so you can send messages that will show up on individuals dashboards, on teams dashboards, however you like, uh, it would be there. So that's essentially the dashboard for the administrator. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Uh, at 800-628-9737.
uh, where a BFS representative can answer any questions or you can send out an email at info at bfsetreplog.com. We'll do another series of this for coaches as well as for athletes. Uh, and as we get new questions, we will send out uh, new tutorials uh, like this. So if you have any suggestions, anything that, that you'd like to know more about, feel free to let us know so that we can get you the information you need. All right. Thanks and have a great workout.